Hi, my name is Cynthia Habonimana and this is my journey through codes. Yeah, so my name is Cynthia Habonimana and I'm a computer science uh, major at California State University in Long Beach and I'll be graduating in May 2019, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, my emphasis is in artificial intelligence and so I plan on doing research once I graduate. Oh, okay. How did you get into programming? So I actually started uh, programming quite late in the game, I would say, because when I was uh, growing up, I was uh, very interested in biology and physics, and so I was not exposed that much to, uh, you know, computer science of uh, programming until like towards the end of high school, and so towards the end of high school, that's when I started getting. Uh, exposure to it and I was like, wow, this is really amazing. And one of the first uh, programming languages that I learned was Python and, you know, playing with the terminal and things like that from then on, uh, it was just, you know, back up all my <laughs> Yeah. So like, um, I know you're into a lot of um, artificial intelligence. Can you tell us a lot more about the work that you've been doing within machine learning and artificial intelligence? Yeah, of course. So with artificial intelligence, uh, I started getting interested in that when I attended uh, the Eurex conference that happened in 2017. Uh, so that was my uh, first exposure to, you know, uh, research in artificial intelligence. Uh, and before that, uh, I was actually doing a project on campus uh, regarding use of drones, it was for um, basically image processing, um, the drone was to be used for uh, recognizing license space okay. and uh, basically it was going to be used for a parking force system and so I already had like a exposure to it and then once I went to the um, conference, uh, the NERVS conference, that's when I met researchers there and I was like oh my gosh, I really liked the Vibe that was there and being around, you know, such brilliant minds, and they were all very down to earth, which is something that I really appreciated and very passionate about what they were doing research in. Like, you could see that as they were presenting uh, their papers and the ideas that they had, the equations behind uh, the different models that they had, and I'll say, like, I want to be a part of this. So that's how it all started. Oh, wow. That's really cool. So to someone that doesn't exactly know what research is in computer science, what would you say research is? Like, how would you explain that to them? How is that different from just going into the industry and working as a software engineer? Yeah, uh, so I would say uh, research and software engineering have a major difference, uh, particularly regarding like deadlines. Uh, there are deadlines in uh, research as well, but in software engineering, uh, it's just more, uh, it's more, I would say it's like more intense. And I felt, for me personally, I felt that I would grow better into, uh, you know, the research world. And everybody is actually doing research. You know, when you go on Google and you just, you know, have a question, that's you doing research. So now what researchers do is like, when you, you find a question that is gonna keep you going for like, four or five years um, and uh, you know you basically start reading research papers about it you check if there are um, other people who have worked on the question that you have you start networking with people uh, you basically it's just asking questions and checking online what uh, there is about oh, okay so like for um, any of the viewers so for um, anyone watching that's interested in getting into research, how can they do so like what's your advice? Uh, so if you're interested into research, um, basically start thinking about a problem. I mean, what I mean is you have to change your perspective on approaching problems and think more, not only like, uh, I know in computer science they talk a lot about problem solving skills, but think more of solution finding skills, you know what I mean? So what I mean by that is when you see a problem in computer science uh, or like, for example, a gadget that you're using, uh, 
or um, something that you have seen online, that's a problem. And once you find that problem, that's your solution, basically. That's a question. If you feel very passionate about that problem, that's a question that you might have. Um, so, for example, we were here at a conference and uh, we saw that, you know, batteries um, of phones, you know, they tend to act in, you know, in not an efficient way when they're in extreme weather. For example, when there's like extreme cold, like here in New York, it starts acting up. And so that's a problem right there. So now you might have a question like, okay, so how do I improve that? What are some materials that are used in batteries that can make, um, that can withstand such extreme conditions? And that's a question that you might have. That's what I mean by when you see a problem, that's your solution. And once you find your question, then you start researching online. There are really good re um, resources online that you can check. Uh, for example, there is uh, ResearchGate. If you're interested in research, you should start um, by creating a profile there. And you can already start uh, checking at your university if there are some professors who are also working on that. You can start uh, getting in, you can get in touch with uh, professors who are in the, that field. For example, I mentioned batteries, so maybe you want to talk to electrical engineers and ask them about some contacts that they might have and how they can direct you in that. And you can start looking at companies. If you're interested in applied research, you can start looking at companies uh, and seeing if they have maybe uh, an application or like a, a research lab regarding batteries or electrical engineering, electric batteries, things like that. And so once, uh, I feel like a lot of, uh, uh, an essential part of research is also the network that you have. And from then, once you have that uh, network, that you can get more resources such as um, which books. And these are the people who, the people that you'll talk to, they'll be the ones who will tell you about the books that you wanna read, uh, the papers that you want to read, um, other people that you might wanna get in touch with. Okay, that's really awesome. Thank you so much.